do you know that feeling of post breakup, just sort of like all encompassing despair or heartbreak or ache or numbness? And then someone comes along and says something that is not only not helpful, but it's just actively hurtful. Ugh, like as if breaking up wasn't hard enough. Now, that happens so much more often with poly folks because monogamous people just don't understand our relationships. And so then by extension, they don't understand our breakups. So I want to talk today about some pervasive myths around polyamorous breakups. But first, hey there. If you don't already know me, my name is Brian G. Murphy. I'm an activist, educator, and certified relationship coach. And whether you're single, dating, monogamous, open, polyamorous, or something else entirely, if you want practical, actionable advice on all things dating, relationships, and sex, subscribe below for new videos every Wednesday afternoon. I have a lot to say about the myths and misconceptions that people have about open and polyamorous relationships and about our breakups in particular. I would be here all day if I got into all of it. So I'm going to try and keep this short and snappy and get through them. Okay, so... First up is the inspiration behind this video. I try and keep up on all things and all people open and polyamorous on Twitter and Instagram and listening to podcasts and also here on YouTube. So I follow uh, a what used to be a gay triad and the other day they posted a video talking about how uh, one of the partners has decided to break up with them and leave the relationship. Now, I don't know these guys. I just only recently started following them on YouTube. I can't really comment on them or their relationships, or their breakups. But I did see a comment in response to that video that just like made me so mad slash sad. And that was, this person said, cheer up, cheer up, at least you have your husband at your side. And so the first open slash polyamorous breakup myth is that people are not interchangeable. We're not objects. And the presence of another person or another relationship doesn't negate the hurt that we're feeling or the future that we had hoped for. And like, this should go without saying, you presumably have lots of people in your life, friends and family members, and that doesn't make hurt less just because you have other people in your life. Of course, they can be there to support you and help you get through that tough time, but you're still gonna feel that hurt deeply. And open and polymerous people are obviously no exception. The next myth that I want to tackle is that open and polyamorous people just have breakups coming. People might say like, well, what did you expect to happen? Like, of course, those types of relationships never last. First of all, just like functionally not true. There are lots of examples of long-term thriving open and polyamorous relationships. This is just like the same old argument regurgitated again. We heard this again about gays and lesbians and, our, and their relationships or our relationships that like they just don't last, like therefore you should just deal with it. And that's just not true. And also relationships don't have to last a lifetime or until one of you dies for them to be meaningful and valid. And so even if the relationship never was going to last for forever, that doesn't mean that breakups don't hurt or that we can't be sad um, or that they might not be unexpected or catch us by surprise. The next two myths are about polyamorous relationships where there's two people who are in a relationship to begin with and then a third person gets added into the mix, either dating both of them or dating just one of them. And the idea is that if you start dating someone new, or if your partner dates someone new, he's going to leave you for that person. That's just like how it goes. You don't open up, you don't open up a relationship if you're happy. And so polyamory is just like the first step to your partner leaving you. And so when that happens, like, yep, that's how it goes. On the flip side of that is the idea that the original two people in the relationship are the real couple, the real relationship, and whoever is comes into the relationship after that is just an add-on, is just for fun, isn't as meaningful, or isn't as serious. The expectation is that at the end of the day, the two people who were originally dating are going to be the ones who continue dating into the future, and the third one is going to eventually get them boot or be left behind. With both of these myths about relationships and breakups, reality just 
proves them wrong. That's just not how it works. Relationships end for all sorts of reasons. That's true for monogamous relationships, that's true for open relationships, and that's true for polyamorous relationships. You can't predict what the future will hold, and the structure of your relationship doesn't dictate if or how or when your relationship will end. The last breakup myth that I want to cover today is about a person who isn't actually a part of the breakup but is still affected by it, and that's the metamor. A quick side note on polyamory terms. If you are in a relationship with someone and that person is in a relationship with someone else that you are not in a romantic relationship with, you might call yourself or consider yourself to be a metamor of that person. It's like your partner's partner. So when there's a breakup in a polyamorous relationship, some folks, usually monogamous people, think that the person who wasn't a part of the breakup must be relieved or excited that this breakup happened and now that their metamor is out of the, the picture that they can have their partner all to themselves or more to themselves. And again, that's just like a misconception about how polyamory works, right? Like if I have had relationships where I really love my metamors, my partner's partners. They enrich my life, they fulfill me, they're a friendship. And so if and when that relationship sh shifts, like I also experience some sort of loss, sometimes even sadness. And regardless of how I feel about that person, unless there's like abuse or neglect or something really bad, I'm not gonna feel happy about a breakup. They're, my partner is going through a breakup. That's sad, I don't want him to be sad. So no, I'm not like excited or relieved that a relationship has come to an end. Okay, I'm sure that I have left out some polyamorous and open relationship breakup myths. I know that there are an infinite number of ways in which monogamous folks misunderstand our relationships and our breakups. So I would love to hear from you. What are some of the myths and misconceptions around open and poly breakups that I didn't include in this video? Drop them down in the comments down below. Uh, if you want more videos like this, I have two that you should watch. One is sharing a little bit about my own breakup story. You can watch that right there. And the other is a one picked just for you. Go ahead and click that right there. Remember to subscribe for new videos every Wednesday afternoon, and I'll see you over on one of those. Bye for now.